This past month, I celebrated one year of ownership with my F30 340i with a brand new set of wheels and tires. Now, I put a lot of time and research into finding what I believe to be the perfect wheel and tire setup for this car, and have applied everything that I've learned over the years from all the other wheels that I've owned into choosing this exact setup. Maybe I'm getting older, but I've grown to appreciate the OEM Plus look. I used to think if I'm going to spend the money on a set of wheels, I want it to be obvious that I've upgraded them. This time, I was looking for a performance oriented wheel that could pass for a factory design. My search led me to the Apex ARC8R, a simple split spoke forged wheel that accepts BMW center caps. For the detailing folks that might be watching, I did ceramic coat the wheels with Gion Q2 rim. I'll put a link down below if anyone's interested. So having owned 17s, 18s, and 19s, I keep coming back to 18 inch wheels as really the perfect size for me. They're big enough to be able to accommodate the M Sport brakes without clearance issues, yet small enough to be able to fit larger tires without rubbing. It's really just the right size. This time around, I went with an 18 by 8.5 ET35 for my front wheels and 18 by 9.5 ET45 for the rear wheels. Now this is a perfect no-nonsense fitment for the F30. With these specs, you don't need to run spacers, you don't have to worry about the brake clearance issues, the suspension clearance, and the tires don't rub even though my car is lowered. Both the front and the rear wheels are perfectly flush with the body of the car and since the ARC8 design doesn't have a lip, it gives the illusion that the wheels are larger than they actually are. F30s, like many other BMWs, have a bolt pattern of 5x120 and a center bore of 72.56mm. So in case you're new to the wheel game, center bore is just the hole on the back side of the wheel where the wheel mounts onto the hub. Now if you buy wheels where the center bore is too large, you can actually get an adapter called a hub centric ring to fill in that gap. Um, if you get wheels where the center bore is too small, they actually won't fit on the car um, without being drilled out by a machine shop. That gets a little bit more complicated, a little bit more costly, but brands like Apex and some others like VMR who really cater to the BMW market, they sell wheels with that 72.56 millimeter um, center bore so the wheels will fit right out of the box without any modification. So now that we know what specs will fit, let's talk a little bit about wheel construction. So in the world of aluminum wheels, there's basically three main manufacturing processes which are cast, flow formed, and forged. Now cast wheels are the most affordable and the most common. Most cars that come with aluminum wheels from the factory like the Scion FRS wheel are just cast aluminum. Now to put it very, very simply, they're basically pouring molten aluminum into a mold. They allow it to cool and out pops a wheel. So if you've ever been wheel shopping and you've seen wheels that are like a thousand dollars or less for a set of four, those are most certainly cast wheels. Now because cast wheels are the weakest type of construction, they usually have to use more material to make them structurally sound. So generally speaking, cast wheels tend to be on the heavier side. Flow formed is a term that's been popping up a lot in recent years in the wheel world, like these 1552 whole shot RSRs. This is a flow formed wheel. So with flow forming, they start out with a cast wheel, and then they use a special machining process to compress the aluminum on the inner barrel of the wheel, thereby increasing its strength. So flow form wheels offer a nice middle ground between cast and forged wheels. They're generally lighter and stronger than their cast counterparts while still being a lot more affordable than a fully forged wheel. These are for the enthusiast who's willing to pay for more than just a wheel's design. And then of course the ultimate no compromise, spare no expense wheel construction is a forged wheel. Now according to Apex's site, they start out with a block of aluminum, they apply 10,000 tons of pressure, and then machine out the spokes and the result is a wheel that's not only extremely strong but also extraordinarily lightweight. A forged Apex ARC8R weighs just over 18 pounds per wheel. Now to put that in context, the stock style 407 BMW wheels that came on my car weighed 29 pounds per wheel without tires. So you don't need to get your calculator out to realize that that's a massive weight savings, but all that performance comes at a cost. Forged wheels are by far the most expensive wheel construction for aluminum wheels. There was a time when the really high cost of forged wheels from brands like BBS and Raze Engineering made them unattainable to the average enthusiast. Um, a set of BBS FIRs will set you back over $8,000. That's more than I sold my E94, but recently brands like Apex and Forgestar have really been shaking things up with these more affordable forged wheels. These wheels, for example, are around $650 per wheel. I know it's still not cheap, but you don't have to donate a kidney to buy them. Um, BBS, I'm looking at you. Still, if you can't stomach the cost of a fully forged wheel like this, Apex does offer this exact same design in a flow formed wheel for about half the price. 
Aside from being stronger and lighter, the forged version of the ARC-8 features improved brake clearance, a reinforced inner lip, paintless knurled beads, and this gorgeous brushed finish which is exclusive to their forged line. Let's talk tires. On my last setup, I had the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S, which is a really good high performance summer only tire. This time around, I went with the Michelin Pilot Sport all season four. Um, as great as the Sport 4S were, I really had to step back and reevaluate my needs as a driver. Now, while I don't ever plan to drive my 340i in the snow, I do like having the option to drive it in really cold weather, which is about 65% of the year here in Michigan. And I also like to be able to drive more confidently when it's pouring down rain, which again, precipitation, Michigan, those two go hand in hand. Now, because I'm not tracking the car or really pushing it to the limit on a regular basis, the advantage of the all season tires for me outweighed the slight performance edge that you would get with the Sport 4S, but that's just for my personal use case. Now one thing that was really important to me this time around was getting the right size tire that would fit properly without stretching. I went with a 245 40 18 for my front tires and a 275 35 18 for the rear tires. That's really the perfect tire to wheel ratio for the F30 and offers a comfortable ride for daily driving. As you can see, the sidewall of the tire is kind of squared off, which is a look that I've really grown to appreciate lately rather than the kind of stretched out rounded edge that you get with a stretch tire. So full disclosure, I don't have any direct affiliation with Apex Wheels, but my main channel sponsor Keys Motorsports recently became an Apex distributor right as I was getting in the market. I actually had these exact wheels in my shopping cart and I was this close to paying full retail for them. And then at the last minute, things worked out to be able to get a sponsorship through Keys. So really lucky when it works out that way. Um, I'm gonna put some affiliate links down in the description. If you wanna check them out through the links, I do get a small commission from that and it kind of helps Keys see that the sponsorship was worthwhile or if you wanna buy a different set of wheels entirely. They do sell some different brands on their site, um, but if you wanna just take the information from this video and just buy a totally different set of wheels, that's okay too. But thanks for watching guys. Give me a thumbs up if the information was helpful. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next one.